Welcome to Toffee TV. It's the starting 11 show. Everton versus Brighton in a must win game at Goodison Park. A must win. With a defence that can withstand any kind of pressure. Any <laughs> kind of pressure from Brighton, whether that be Shane Duffy at corners or. Oh, God, I forgot about Duffy off corner. <laughs> Six for five, Shane Duffy. Uh, yeah. And Donk, Lewis Dunk or Lewis Dunk, Dunk, or Dunk. he's Dunk. massive as well, isn't yeah. he? But I'm not gonna flap over Brighton. Let's, let's 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 get into it. Let's get into it. Uh Jordan Pickford in goal. Yeah. Of course. Uh Seamus Coleman at right back, hopefully a little bit a little bit more down the line from where he was last week. He looked mm. a little bit off it last week, not quite at his best. Obviously the first game he came in against Leicester he was he was the absolute business. He was, uh, but I imagine a lot of that game was on adrenaline and, mm. and just Goodison and everything else. Where he was a little bit more muted last week. Hopefully this week he'll be a little bit more at it. Uh, Michael Keane, you've left them in there. Left them in there. There are there are other available centre backs this weekend. Two other av available centre. backs. Three <laughs> other available centre backs this weekend, and you. Three. Well, one of them's in the team, but. Um, okay. And Michael Keane retains his place. Yeah, I that listen, I think he's done all right okay. of late. I think a lot was thrown at him last week and I think it was the other fella. I think it was the other fella and and the left back who were, were culpable within that as well. Mm -hmm. As well as him. Not not lifting him from the blame for the first goal because he he absolutely was at fault. But I just think it's about he was, listen, he was really good last season and he's been really good for Burnley and he hasn't been really good for us but I still think there's a player in there and we have to look at it. I don't think, we're talking about continuity, we're talking about how we go forward. If we rip it up again this week and go, right, it's not Keane or Williams this week, it's Jack Elker and Holgate or it's Funes Mori who's not played the game. I just think you're causing more problems yeah. again. Do you know what I mean? If Michael Keane has another nightmare this week then maybe he does have to step out. But he was good last time out at Goodison, I thought, against Palace. Yeah. thought he was good against Leicester, so I'd, I've left him in, that's why I've gone with him. Okay. And Jack Gelke has gone next to him? Yeah, put Phil Jack Gelke. Mason Holgate, I think, is unlucky not to be in the side, because I think he, had, he didn't have a great game against Spurs at Wembley. And, he, you know, he had a, a, a little bit of a, a bumpy ride. But in general, he's been very good at centre back, yeah. and he will be one. And and obviously, and the other thing with that is like all the off the stuff pitch seems to have been yeah, cleared yeah, up yeah. now, you know, so yeah. we can get his head together. Yeah. I think from now on. But I just think we need Jack Elka's experience. Jack, for me, in terms of actually defending, Jack Elka is still the best defender we've got yeah. for keeping the ball out the net, like throwing himself in the way of stuff and organising. I just think if this was all excuse me this was august i'd probably be going with keen and holgate mm. to try and get that partnership going the young partnership but we need points now or if we had like 41 points or whatever start looking at mason back in there you know the the, the ideal for us would be to get three or four games in the end of the season and be safe and be yeah. all right and then we can start throwing in mason next mm. to keen and going do these is there any way these two can play together yes or no Anyway, I've gone with Jack Elka, Safdie. Um And alongside Phil Jack Elka, Leighton Baines, who yeah. was obviously on the bench last week against Burnley. Get him back in now. Back in. Cucumber Martin has done alright. Yes, no, 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 no. Don't start saying things like that, Baz. He has not done alright. Right. He has not he's done, done okay, okay at I'll all. Be, I'll be, no, he hasn't. I'll rephrase it. He's done. He's, he's been at left back. Um, he's been on the pitch. Yes, but Leighton Baines. I refuse to give him any other credit. No. I, yeah, I don't know what. Yeah, he hasn't done alright. Uh, he's had the odd game where he's done alright, you have to say that because he has, there's been the odd game that he's done okay. all But Baines, for me, just for balance, the left foot, helping us out going forward, helping us out defensively. Three of the Moyes back four that we spoke about, mm -hmm. but lads that know what it's about, yeah. do you know what I mean? Let's get back to, to basics almost and get these wins out the way. You know, we know that Baines ultimately we'll need we'll need replacing we need a young left back that can fly up and down that line but he's got to be good enough not just able to run him down the pitch Baines still got a part big part to play next season for me as well but he has to have real genuine competition yeah. where he's looking and thinking if I dip I'm off the team but for me straight back in that side mm -hmm. Saturday uh, midfield the three that we've seen obviously since Watford and obviously in our last home game against Crystal Palace Garner Rooney and Davis, that's that's probably more. I mean, 
you know, I, I suppose this this will be the question mark for a few people after what we've seen last week. Um, Rooney in the middle of the park, dictating a little bit deeper. Davis providing the energy to go forward and Garner, mm. you know, fight, fire fighting, uh, sniffing out all the trouble. And as we've seen last week at Burnley, um, pointing a few fingers at people as well, which is, which, which is you know what, that's fine with me. I've got no, no. problem with that. Um, is it just basically going back to what we've seen in the in the past Goodison games of having someone on the ball deep like Rooney who can help things tick along? I just think last last week the right decision probably to pull him out of it. Didn't he played at Watford and didn't have a very good game, so he ultimately deserved to be out the side last week. What I thought happened when he came on the pitch was he got on the ball, he got helped us get a little bit more control of the ball. We didn't do much with it, but he was on the ball. I think at home it's easier for him to dictate the play because we are an attacking side at home and I think what are your alternates Gilfie back in there and and Calvert-Lewin off the left Balassi off mm. the left yeah potentially but I just think those three particularly at Goodison mm. work well as a three and I, I think Ro- the other thing is Rooney can always come up with a goal and I just feel as though he gives us that extra little bit of control in the game Davis can push on and press and Garner can mop up like you say so that's why I've gone for him there I suppose with Sigurdsson you know playing off the left hand side having someone like Baines in there mm. who will if, you know if he plays will will get up that line a lot more for him yeah. and will will help Sigurdsson come off the he left take the better. ball and, and make runs on the outside even if it's a, like you've said, even if he doesn't even want the ball, what we've criticised Martina for, even if Baines doesn't want the ball in mm. front of him, he'll make that run. Even if it's a jog almost, but he, but someone's got to go with him because they're thinking, and that mm. gives Gilfie that extra extra few seconds yeah. to turn inside. So Gilfie there, uh, obviously Theo Walcott on the other side, and Jen Tosin, because yeah. I thought he'd done very well last week. For <clears throat> People said he'd tied. I personally wouldn't have taken him off because... Or certainly what I would have tried to do was get some help alongside yeah. them when the game was going going away from us last week. I'd have just matched Burnley up and gone, you know what, Dom, go and stand next to him. Let's be a little bit more direct and let's see what we can get. He took him off. Okay, so he's had another week of training. Mm-hmm. He scored a really good goal last week, a good poachers goal. Well, if, if you're going to start him at Burnley you, and he scores, you're going to start him at Goodison, well, aren't you, surely? To, that's what you do because he'll get on a run and... and he looked better last week, I don't know about you, but to me, he looked like he was more involved last yeah. week than he has been. His touch was good, he was leading counter-attacks. He, I mean, he gave Walcott two, two opportunities, not another day. They all would have had... Could I have think had for him, team. it's just about getting up to speed with the Premier League, and that's what it's always been about. I have not been critical about mm. him not starting no, games, no. because I understand why he hasn't started a game. I don't understand why things have been said. Yeah, that's more of the issue. You know, it? about about him. I think that has played its part. I think you put the two things together and it and it and it, it misrepresents the situation. Yeah, I yeah. think a player like him comes into the Premier League and they, and they're not gonna be up to speed. Mm. You know, the Turkish League you know, it is what it is. The Champions League's slower than the Premier League. You you come into the Premier League and you're faced with having to step up mm. probably fitness wise, pace wise, and He's had to do that, and I think it's taken him a little bit of time, and it still will take him a little bit of time. But I think if he's if he's um, starting to understand as well where he needs to run. Listen as well, this is a player who's not been not played as a as a lone striker, or if mm. he's been playing in a three, he tends to drift off into wide areas. Suddenly he's being asked to do a job that he's not necessarily what he's been used to. So that's another factor to it. I don't think it should be a factor, but it is a factor. He's gonna have to. He's gonna have to learn those things in training, and, and and you know, and hopefully he has now. I, in in tandem as well with Walcott coming in, and people having to learn Walcott's game. Mm. So you've got him and him. Walcott's being the more like, well, he's a Premier League player. Yeah. We, we stick to what we well, stick. You know, we've got to we've got to learn two different players' as jobs. We learn Walcott first because mm. he's going to be more efficient and knows the Premier League more off the bat. Tosin will take a little bit more time with and it will take time and I think you know I ho- think hopefully now he's starting to feel a little bit more I think it's also just quickness of thought and, and when to release the ball you know so you're not getting caught because mm. probably got a bit more time in Turkey like you said even though it's physical physically he's fine he takes the knocks he's fine but it's how quick do I have to pop this off mm. and just thinking that little bit quicker and that, there was signs for me last week at Burnley that he was doing that that he, he knew when to release the I ball. also think it helps that he's a very he's a, he seems a very honest player mm. I seen last week at Burnley I think someone someone you know 
it was halfway through a move and someone like you know knocked him over or something and he didn't make a big fuss about it he just got on with it you know what I mean he didn't mm. make any big deals of it and he just got on with it I think that's important as well if you're an honest player and you, you understand you it is part of the game and you will be knocked and kicked and all mm. those things and, and it's just about doing your job so if you can get in there and have a good game and, and um, you know Score at it. Why don't we just create some chances? For yeah, like last week, what he had, he had two, didn't he? He scored the goal, and he had a header in the second half that he couldn't quite direct. He just jackknifed it wide. If he got that on target, he'd have probably scored again. So it's giving him chances. If we're giving him chances and he's blazing them over, why he's not getting on the end? Mm. Then you can criticise him, but if he's not getting chances, you can't criticise him because he's, you know, you can say he needs to be in the middle to miss them, yeah. but we've got to give him the, the ball and I think if we give him the service the lad will score the goals it, it's yeah. it's as simple as that I think that team is more than capable of beating Brighton it's a better team than what Brighton have got or on paper yeah. can we do it and that's what it's about yeah. now and I think that that team for me yeah. is, is capable of delivering that yeah gives your thoughts on the team is this your starting 11 what would be your starting 11 let us know in the comments thanks for watching Toffee TV we'll see you later